if you are looking for a couple of decor ideas using affordable items from the Dollar Tree, I want to share how you can turn this glass face into a high-end architectural piece like this. And also how to turn a wood frame into a resin tray. Let's get started. I recently purchased two glass vases like this from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I want the vase to look like a bronze metal, so what I'm going to do is start off by spray painting it bronze. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you are in a well-ventilated area and also lightly spray it so that the paint does not drip. To add some interest to the vase, I decided to spray paint these squares and see if I could attach it to the vase somehow. The squares were also $1.25 and they come in a pack of 30. Afterwards, I let them dry for an hour. Okay, now let's attach the squares to the vase. This time, I'm going to try Gorilla Super Glue to see if it will hold the squares up quickly. I'm going to show this in real time so you can see how long it takes. Did you see that? It did not take long at all. I decided to glue the squares around the top of the vase. I tried to space them out equally by first placing the squares opposite of each other like this. Okay, so while I'm gluing the squares, I wanted you to know that I now have a place where you can shop for all of my furniture, decor, beauty, and clothes that I purchase and find online. I get a lot of people who reach out to me and want to know where I purchase things, so now I have a simple way of sharing that with you. I'll make sure to put the link in the description box below just in case you want to know. Okay, back to the project. After I finished adding the first row of squares, I decided to add a second row. You don't have to do this, you could just stop at this first row, but I wanted to see how it would look. The final step is to add a little bit of antique gold rub and buff on the ends to make it look more like metal. Okay, so this is what it looked like in the beginning and now look at it. Very cool, right? If you're not able to find the small squares, you could use the large squares that come in a pack of eight. To increase the amount, I decided to cut them in half with my miter saw. To keep the squares together, I put painter's tape around them. Just as I did in the previous project, I'm going to spray paint these pieces as well. We'll also need to paint your vase. This time, let's glue the wood to the bottom of the vase. I'm going to space the pieces out the same way as I did before, but I'm only going to do one row this time. If you do decide to do this project, I recommend placing the wood against something that is straight so that your wood is also straight. I didn't do that. Once I finish, here's how it looked. What an interesting piece. While I was at the store, I saw this frame and I thought, it would be cool to make this into a tray. So let's see how this turns out. The frame is originally intended to be placed on the wall and I can tell this by um, it having a couple of hooks on the back of it. So I'm going to remove it. To jazz the frame up a bit, I decided to just draw a couple of shapes on the inside of it with my pencil. If you do decide to do this, I highly recommend you use a pencil just in case you need to erase something. And if you are not feeling creative and don't want to freehand like I'm doing, try adding a piece of wallpaper that has a cute pattern on it. Next, I'm going to paint the inside of the shape with a black craft paint. Just imagine all the different colors and shapes you could use for this project. I must say painting is something I really want to get back into. 
Projects like these are so relaxing to me. It is therapeutic. I really like using this small straight edge brush. Did you know that Dollar Tree has paint brushes too? Once I finished, I whipped up a batch of resin off camera and then I added a little bit of brown mica powder to the resin so that it would make the wood look more aged. I'm adding the tinted resin first and then adding the clear resin in afterwards. I decided to try out a new brand of resin for this project. I'm not sure about this one because there are so many bubbles and it has a very strong smell to it. So I don't think I'm going to share this one with you, but if you want one, um, if you need a recommendation, I'll put the link to one that I have used several times in the description box below, just in case. To spread out the resin, I'm going to use a silicone spatula. I like using this type of spatula because resin does not stick to it. All you have to do is let the resin dry and then you can peel it away. If you notice, I still have a lot of little bubbles. So to get rid of them, I am going to use my heat gun. But if you don't have a heat gun, you could use a torch instead. Try not to get too close to the frame. To finish the tray off, I am going to add two black handles. These were a couple of extra handles that I had from uh, changing out my cabinet handles. Um, so if you don't have any on hand, try going to the thrift store or Habitat Restore. Afterwards, I let the resin dry for 24 hours and here's how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. If you try any of my projects, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you create. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, try watching this one.